In this section, we're going to talk about uh, creating unit tests. So now that you've learned about uh, functional testing and the different types in there, let's start applying some of these actual concepts to our Python code and learn how to create uh, unit tests for uh, Python. Before we get into actually uh, building the actual code for testing uh, our, our, our Python software, uh, there's a few things that I want to bring up. Uh, first off, that uh, it's really, really important to read the documentation. Um, Python has a really good uh, outline of how to use these. Uh, the second thing is that test cases are created by using Python classes, and a test case is something that is a collection of different unit tests as a kind of a suite of those unit tests um, that test a similar thing. So that might be a class that you're working on or a specific like scenario um, or, or kind of just a collection of similar typed um, things that are there. Python um, uses assertions to validate that things are working. And, and we'll get into some of the examples, but the, an assertion is basically uh, you assert that something is in a specific condition. So for example, I want to assert equal. So I want to assert that my variable that I've set to a value of two is a value of two. And so if I say assert equal my variable and my expected variable, if that's true, then it then it passes. If it's not, then we raise an error and the unit testing fails. And that means that that did not pass. So if I set my variable to three and I assert three is equal to two, well, then that's gonna fail. And that's, that's what it's all about, assertions. Um, and it's always your, um, your actual versus expected. Um, and so, yeah, those are the kind of the three basic things right there. Let's go ahead and get started and talk about um, something that uh, we can in kind of a real world type of situation. Um, and we're gonna create a, a calculator within Python. Now, understand this calculator is gonna be kind of um, dumb when we first start. And in reality, you can do all of these things without having to create a class and, and do all these. So bear with me here. I'm trying to just do a simple example for you to be able to kind of easily visualize and, and understand. Um, it, you, you don't need to go off and create your own calculator. I'm not asking you to go do that, um, but we can kind of do that. And so as we type, kind of think about that, you know, what does a, a typical calculator maybe have? You're gonna have an add and a subtract and multiply and divide um, functions that are in there. So let's go ahead and start looking at my code and switch over to that and see what I've already created and how we can create a unit test uh, based off of that. Okay, so I have my calculator class here with two methods. I've got add and subtract. And each of these are pretty simple. You just take a two variables and then um, either add them or subtract them together. So let's go ahead and launch an IPython terminal and within there, we're going to import this class and just show that, that this is working within our terminal here. So we'll take calc equal to this class and we'll call calc.add and let's do two and three. And we get five as we would expect. Let's try this again with uh, some other numbers. Um, let's try three and five. We get eight. Awesome. Uh, let's do three and seven. And we get 10 as expected. Next up, the thing that we're going to want to do is start testing this using our uh, test file. So we're going to first create a new file and call it test underscore and it's really important that we have it as test underscore in there. That's how Python will be able to detect that this is a test case. And then we're going to do test underscore calculator.py. 
The first thing we're going to want to do is actually import unit test module. The unit test module is used for creating our test cases. It's the kind of bolts and nuts of how we do this unit testing. Let's craft our test case now. So first we're going to call it class, or create a class and call it test calculator. This class is going to inherit from the unit test dot test case class. And this is the main class on how we create new test cases. Now you'll notice that I called this test calculator and it's important that it starts with a test. Um, that's how Python again is able to detect that this is a test case that needs to be ran. And um, it's also a good way of organizing your code. Let's split up these files side by side in Visual Studio so we can kind of see what's going on. So on my left side we have the calculator and on my right side we have the test cases that we're going to do there. So the first thing let's do is let's try to test out the add functionality that's in there. We're going to do that by creating a test step and by defining a method. And so we're going to call it uh, test underscore add and our since it's a method we have self in there and then now what we want to do is call the function that we have over there in order to do that we need a value for our left and right inputs so let's set left equal to two and right equal to three just like we did before and now we're going to call that method that's in there but we can't quite do that just yet because we need to import it. So we're going to import that file or that mod class into there. Do for calculator, in, or sorry, from calculator, import calculator. And then we're going to create an instance of that calculator class. And then now, finally, we're going to call that function by doing calc.add, pass in our left, right value and there we go now we've called it now we haven't actually done any actual testing meaning we haven't verified that the output is what we want it to do so we've called the function but how do we actually test this well this is where the unit test case um, class has some amazing things called assertions and so we're going to use the assert equal uh, method within the test case. This method will compare the value that's on the left with the value that's on the right. And if they're equal, then it passes. If it doesn't, then it raises in an error. So we're on the left side, we're going to call our actual value or the value that our method of the calculator calls. And on the right, we're going to call the value that we expect which we just take our left and our right and we add them. So after that, I'm going to drop off my IPython console, clear out the input. And what we need to do here is call this test case. Well, that's done by calling the command Python dash M unit test and then enter. And once you do that, it will execute the tests that are within that it detects uh, that are within the test suite and you can see it passed now there's an interesting thing about this left and right of just two and three and calling that every time means that we're only adding the two and three to get five that's not really a good way of testing things we need to test a whole bunch of uh, different numbers and make sure that they're working there and so we want to do that probably in a randomized way, not necessarily in a predictive um, way, because we want to be able to kind of ch ch check out and test different um, ranges of numbers. So this is why it's really important to figure out, is my test a good test? Is it doing the things that I really want it to do? Am I only testing the bare minimum or am I testing some more of the areas that I should be doing? So for this, what we're going to want to do is we're going to import the random uh, module. Uh, and then from there, instead of using two or three, let's set a random integer that's in there. Um, and as a part of this, we're going to 
talk or think about what are the ranges that we might want to use. So for this one, we're just going to arbitrarily use a, a range of, let's say, a thousand um, and negative a thousand to a thousand because we want to be able to test both the negatives and positives of there. So we want to be able to add two negative numbers or a positive and a negative or two positives. And so we're going to do that for both left and right. So it's going to randomly select between the negative a thousand and a thousand. And now that when we run this, it's going to compare the, what our calculator is doing versus what we get. And we can see, hey, that's working properly. Let's go ahead and move on and work on the subtracting uh, test. So we're going to do test underscore subtract and basically do the exact same thing, except we're going to call the subtract method of the class instead of uh, the add. Now that we have our test um, complete, let's go ahead and run it and make sure that it's working correctly. And now you can see that two tests were actually ran and that everything passes and it's all good. So there we go, that's what happens. But what happens if there's something wrong? Um, so for example, let's actually um, change the expected value, or sorry, the, uh, the function that we call to be the add. So we expect it to be the subtraction because that's what the test is, but we're actually going to call the add method. If we run that, let's see what happens. And there we go. We get a failure and it is indicated with the F and also a failure. And then unit test will actually give us uh, some details of what's going on. So we had a random value of two or two random values that when added together made negative 766 and when added together um, or subtracted you get 200 uh, and so that obviously didn't work it's not passing um, that's in there and so uh, that's why it, it didn't work so let's move this back to subtract which is the correct way of doing this and then now we can rerun it and we see that everything is passing correctly. Everything within unit test and unit testing within Python is centered around these assertion um, statements. So assert dot equals uh, or assert equal is what we're being used. If we use Visual Studio to kind of list out all the different assertions that we have, we have different things that we can use. Um, and these are all documented in the Python um, documentation, but there are things that you should try to look at. Um, for example, we have the assert greater, which checks to see if a value is greater um, than a, the, sec the second value. Um, we have assertion of assert in, so you look to see if the value is inside of a container. Um, you have something uh, or assert um, not equals or if it raises. There's a whole bunch of just different assertions that you're going to want to look at and see is that what you want to work with um, at this point and, and look at that. So I highly recommend looking at the documentation and seeing what you can do uh, or what you need for the specific uh, things you're trying to test. <laughs>